So we are in Care, and behind me is Care Castle. We actually walked through here for the Tipperary Heritage Way, um, but arrived too late in the evening to go into the castle. Um, so today we're going to take a day to visit all these beautiful places and just wander around Care. Okay, so this is Kerr Castle. We're inside, well, obviously we're not inside the... We're on the castle grounds of Kerr Castle, but within the... This is Kerr Castle. So it was built, uh, or it was begun in about 1142, um, but, you know, it wasn't really a castle until about the 1300s. Um, and then it was a castle from then until about the 18th century, about the 19th century, uh, when it kind of fell into disrepair. So it's... A really well kept castle. Um, they have really nice tours of it and so on. Uh, it was actually used in Excalibur, the movie from the 1980s, which is the wackiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, I, so the castle was used as a backdrop for that movie. It's right on the shore, so there's a river that helpfully creates a moat around the castle, which is actually really interesting when you think about it. Um, these days you just sort of see it. Like, I, it never occurred to me that it was a moat because the road now goes right past it. Um, but I find that really interesting. Uh, so I'm really curious how old the bridge is. Mm. Mm. A heavy wooden door with a steel grill outside, all the yet. And that was held in place by a chain which ran through there and into the guard room at the back. You'll notice the design of the arrow loop in there. It's designed for the longbow and the very dangerous crossbow. Both were in common use in those days. As you attack up the stairs, life gets exceedingly difficult for the attack. Okay. Stumble steps, that's the first problem. All the steps in castles okay, are different heights, shapes, widths, all sorts of things. Okay. The idea was that the attacking soldier, enthusiastically dashing up the stairs, thinking about his future promotion if he takes possession of the building, might slip and break his neck. Now, the reason for the stairs being helical, right? Most people were right-handed. They held their sword in their right hand, so the attacker yeah, is at a serious disadvantage. Every time he pulls his sword back, he's going to bang it off the wall close to his ear. The defender coming down has no such problem. He has the wide open space to wield his sword. So they were extremely clever people indeed. And castles were very, very difficult to take, okay? Then somebody invented heavy artillery, blew a hole in the wall, and that was the end of that. Right. Now you have the, ca uh, the castle's kitchens were over here where you see the holes in the walls. And the butlers who live here had a real luxury. Covered by that grid over there, a private water supply. It's a spring well which they found many hundreds of years ago. And that is the only tower, by the way, we have open on the site. You can go down there today, up the far side, You'll come out onto the top of a lovely tower directly outside that wall and you can take some lovely photographs across the river. So all these, all these listed buildings that we go to, um, castles, um, houses, forts, there's like loads of things around Ireland, they're all protected by the OPW, which is the Office of Public Works, and they charge, let's say, a, a five euro entry into these places just to be able to keep repairing and restoring all these beautiful buildings. Um, but there's a thing called a heritage card, which you buy and it lasts for a year and you get into all of the places.
Do you, why, why do I hold this? You're the taller one. 